Hello and welcome to the Alto Theater. I'm Jessica Muirhead. I'm a soprano soloist at the house. This opera house is home to the Alto Ballet, the Alto Music Theater, and the Essena Philharmonica. Would you like to come on in? Follow me. Before we even enter the building, let me show you one of the first of many welcoming design features. Two hand grips so everyone can reach. But why Alto? Because of this man right here. Alvar Alto was a Finnish architect born in 1898 and died in 1976. With the design of this building, Alto had two main goals, to incorporate his love of nature and the well-being of people inside the building. Look out for curved lines and asymmetrical details throughout the entire design. Unfortunately, the construction of the building only took place after Alto's death and was completed in 1988. Make sure to look up and all around as you take the marble steps into the foyer. Another welcoming design feature, a leather wrapped banister so that your hands don't feel the cold metal. Curved asymmetrical balconies and windows, windows and more windows. These large windows make our foyer bright and welcoming, and guests feel like they're in the middle of the Stadtgarten. Well, they are. Ich setze mich auf ein Alto Sofa, a couch designed by Alto. Everything is designed by Alto. Everything is designed by Alto. And there they are, the doors to the auditorium. But before you go in, touch the door. Any idea what that is? It's horsehair. Did you know string players' bows are also made with horsehair? Clever alto. Here's where the magic happens, the auditorium which seats 1,125 people. Notice how everything is blue and white? Not red like in most opera houses. Alto wanted to evoke the colors of the sea and the sky. We lovingly call it Alto Blau or Alto Blue. Let's sit down in the auditorium of the Alto Teatro. Do you notice here these leather strips on the top and on the bottom of the seat? It's not just because it looks good. It's also for acoustics. We are known as having one of the best acoustics in the world. And thankfully, they put this design feature in so that when the hall is empty, the acoustics are almost the same as when the hall is full. When people are sitting in their seats, the sound waves bounce off their hands and faces. So when the hall is empty, leather is the next best thing. So when we are rehearsing on stage, we don't feel a big difference between the sound in the hall when it's empty and full. And I have to say, for that, I'm grateful. Aber ich muss gestehen, hier fühle ich mich nicht am wohlsten. Folge mir. And this is my view. 
pretty blinding when you've got all those lights in your face, especially if you have a follow spot like that up ahead. People often ask me if I can see them, but to be honest, I usually can't. Can we take a little peek backstage? See what's hidden behind the curtain? Our backstage area is so huge with so many capabilities, I need to do a whole separate video. But before I finish this little video, let me show you one more awesome feature of the Alto Theater and a personal favorite. Every opera house has to have an iron curtain in case of fire. It separates the hall from the backstage. But unlike in those other buildings, ours comes up from the depths of the building. And no surprise, it's blue. And so in front of our blue, alto blue iron curtain, I must bid you farewell. Thank you for joining me on this little tour. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you soon. Auf Wiedersehen und bis zum nächsten Mal.